Hi everyone, it's Janine. Welcome to Couch Yoga for Seniors. As per special request by you, my subscribers, thank you so much for the request. This is the second shoulder video, so I'll link the first one up above. This one is going to be shoulders all in the back plane. All you need is either a couch or a chair. And remember to subscribe to my channel, and that way you'll be supporting my channel and you'll be able to get uh, notified of all the upcoming videos that I'm doing. And please remember to click the like button at the end. And that way, it lets me know that I'm doing a good job. You want more videos like this. Please let me know in the comments which video do you want me to make next. Maybe one about hip, or is it the neck, or maybe abdominal. Let's get started. Let's begin seated with our feet underneath our knees. And make sure that you are sitting a little forward of your chair seat because we need space behind us today. So make sure that you feel steady and safe wherever you are before we begin. So let's start right away and see where we are in terms of our arms behind us. Stretch your arms behind you, reach them behind you, and notice what happens. You might drop your head, so immediately lift your gaze. Look at one thing that's not moving, shoulders back. Now clasp your hands behind you. You might not be able to. You might be grabbing a towel or a strap or something like that. And then extend your arms, straighten your arms, release. Clasp your fingers the other way behind you. I'm just showing you in front. And then see how that is. So your elbows are swinging in towards each other. Tops of shoulders are coming back and you're extending up through the crown of your head. Throw it open. Base of ears straight back. Gazing straight ahead. And breathing in and out through your nose. Whatever we're doing. And then release. So you're going to remember how that felt so we can come back to it at the end and see how we did. Inhale, stretch your arms out to the sides. And then turn your thumbs pointing down. And now externally rotate your upper arm so that your palms spin up to the sky. And now turn your thumbs back down again. And now spin them upward. And see if you can bring your thumbs back behind you just a little more. See how that feels today. And now come back to center if they came behind you. And now exhale, bring your arms down to either your thighs or the couch. Inhale, arms out to the sides this way. The thumbs are pointing straight up. Inhale, bend the arms at the elbow. Exhale, forearms go down towards the floor. Inhale, bring your forearms back up. You're saying, hey, I'm here. And then exhale, bring your arms down to either the couch or your thighs. Exhale, arms out to the sides. Inhale, bend at the elbows. Exhale, forearms towards the floor. Relax your neck, breathe, inhale, up. And exhale, bring your arms to your thighs, to the couch, whatever feels right, take a breath here. On your next inhale, bring your hands behind your head, and you can either stack one hand on top of the other, or you can clasp your hand. And then inhale, bring the elbows out to the sides as far as you can, but keep pressing your head back into your hands. Exhale, elbows come towards each other. So keep pressing that head back, chin stays level with the floor, inhale, open those elbows, exhale, elbows come together. You're pressing your head back like into that headrest in your car, 
Inhale, elbows out to the side. And now exhale, bring the elbows back in towards each other. Release your arms down. Now your right hand is going to grab your left elbow. And just let the hand, left hand rest wherever it wants. Inhale, bring your left elbow up as close to the left ear as you can. And then exhale, release it forward a little bit. And exhale, guide it back, really pushing upward into that left elbow. And then back. And you're giving a little resistance with your right hand. Getting mobility, and you're not moving the head around. Head stays still, and elbow back, and then come back forward. Release. Let's come to the other side. Left hand, right elbow, and then right hand just wherever. And extending out that right elbow, inhale. Elbow goes up towards the right ear, and exhale, lower down a little bit. Inhale, bring it back. Exhale, lower. Where are you looking? Looking straight ahead the whole time. Keep the base of your ears, your upper palate straight back. As the elbows come up, one more time. And then down, and release. Let's do some stuff for the lower part portion of our arms. So that's going upward. Let's go downward. Inhale, stretch both arms out to the side, and your thumbs point down. Now bring your arms, both of them, behind your back, and then stretch them out. And behind your back, and stretch. Bend the elbows behind your back. And then inhale, straighten your arms out to the sides. Now bend the arms at the elbows. And this time you're going to bring the elbows towards each other here. So exhale, elbows come towards each other. Inhale, broaden them apart. Exhale, elbows come in. We're not arching the spine, keep it neutral. And then back to center. And one final one, elbows come in towards each other. And then back to center. Now the left hand's going to grab the right elbow or something like it. The wrist. Let's do the wrist. wrist. Left hand grabs the right wrist like so. And then you're going to guide that left wrist over to the right. And as you do, you're going to want to drop your left shoulder. So keep the left shoulder lifted. And then hold here. See how far you can bring the wrist over towards the right. And then release and go to the other side. So left hand grabs right wrist and then slowly slides the wrist from right to left. Maybe you're grabbing fingers, but you're breathing. Just getting a little bit of mobility there in the front of the shoulder. And then release. Now, this is the fun bit, Gomukhasana arms, which means cow face pose with the arms only. So if you do not feel comfortable because we're not going to be able to put our hands anywhere, just do either or. So the first one is the hands, what we kind of just did. You slide your left hand behind your back. And walk this left hand up your back as far as possible. So it goes up, up, up. And this elbow, you can even grab the arm if you want. You can. To help the elbow go more towards the center. And then maybe you stay here. Or you could do just the right arm or both. Inhale, right arm up. And exhale, bend at the elbow. So the hands will eventually come and touch each other without dropping the gaze. Where are you looking? Look straight ahead. Not looking at the floor. Look straight ahead. Remember that headrest. And here are Gomukhasana arms. I have a whole Gomukhasana series. Seven 
different videos if you would like to get a little more mobility here. And now release other side. So right hand comes, you can do it this way, out to the side, thumb down, slide the hand behind your back and walk it up. Maybe you grab and walk the hand up. Inhale, left arm up to the sky. Exhale, bend at the elbow. Imagine that you're pushing into that imaginary hand on your left elbow. Elbows are reaching away from each other. Hands are reaching towards each other. And you're getting a big stretch, whatever you're doing. Inhale, release, arms out to the sides, and then clasp your hands behind your back like we did at the very beginning. Stretch your arms behind you, see where it feels better. And then interlace your fingers the other way, just for fun, and see how that side is. Stretch. And now join your hands together, connect your thumbs with your heart. Thank you so much for joining me. And I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Namaste.